Man, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to end it. Let's start with the Browns. Um, Greg Newsom, who was on yeah. this program a couple of weeks ago, we love him. He's got a very, very high bar for the Cleveland Browns defense this year. Listen to what Greg Newsom told Cleveland.com about how good this Cleveland defense could be. We're capable of whatever we want. Our goal is to be the number one defense in the whole NFL. Bull, is that crazy talk or is that realistic? No, I don't think it's crazy talk at all. I mean, every year, defense is so unpredictable from year to year. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, if you play – I'll take it to fantasy because everybody loves fantasy football, right? Woo! When, when you play – Mike, do you play fantasy football? I do, poorly. Right, good, good. <laughs> think about, like, I, you always know the biggest dummy in the league because it's the guy who drafts defense first. First, yeah. Because you can never predict whose defense is good. See, offense is easier to predict – because you know who the quarterback is. Right. And if he's good, your offense is usually going to be good. I think there's a couple of usual suspects that are going to be in the top three or four. For defense or quarterback? For defense. I always feel but, like, you know, if you look at their usual suspects, yeah. they, they tend to stay up there for a couple of years. But, I, but I, outside of like three or four, to me, it's all, it's just a Yeah, jump. but even that three or four, they could drop to eight or ten. I don't know that they're always in the top five. It really rotates, whether it's fantasy or reality. And the reality is that the Browns defense for the second half of last season was a was a top 10 defense. They were great last The back year. end of the yeah. top 10, yeah. but they were a top 10 defense. In my estimation at this point, I don't think there's a single defense in the league that is elite. There's no – the days of the, the great 85 Bears or those Giants teams back in the day or the Ravens with Ray Lewis, that doesn't exist. I don't think unless they change football again, which they shouldn't, it'll ever exist again. I think we're going to have rotating, even the Seahawks from a number, you know, five, mm -hmm. six, seven years ago, yeah. whatever it was. The Browns are in the mix to be one of the best defenses. Now, there's certainly questions at linebacker. There's certainly questions up front, especially at tackle. And there's questions of health in the secondary because they do have a number of injury-prone guys. But if the Browns catch some breaks, which, to be honest, they didn't last year. They were low in turnovers from the defense. I think turnover that's margin a, is the most underrated stat in right. all of football. In mm -hmm. a way, it's kind of random, And you can't rely though. on their right. that you're always going to get Exactly. They got random. unlucky last year, so leads me to believe maybe they'll get lucky this year. Sure. They got unlucky with some injuries last year. Maybe they'll get lucky this year. There's no guarantee. But certainly, if the Browns stay healthy and they figure it out at defensive tackle, there's no reason they couldn't be. All right. I don't so know that I predict them there. for That's sure, what but you're saying. it's a possibility. Mike, yes. what do you think? Do you think that they could be the top-ranked defense? First of all, it just made me happy because you reminded me, you'd much rather have them be better at the second half of the year than the first half of the year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That's great yeah. that that's where they were. It, that seems yeah. to be the direction they were going in. I don't know whether they're going to be top. I mean, if you and if you look it up, I looked it up just to, out of curiosity to see who are they saying is going to be the top defense next yep. year. And, of course, they have Buffalo up there, sure. which is unsurprising. And I think they have the Packers up there, too. And I, like, and, oh, no, L.A. They have the they yeah, have L.A. Rams. up there. Yeah, yeah, right, of course, right. the Rams. Yeah. And so, like, but you, you're right. You don't know. Some team's going to sneak up there. And it's going, it, it always surprises you. Some team just comes out of nowhere with their right. defense, and I hope that's the case. I'm just more focused about uh, on the fact that he made these statements and how do you feel about the fact that he's making these statements. Do you like these bold proclamations? You got no problem with it. You got no problem with it. I, I, I think we make too I big a it. deal when you guys say, we're going to be love great it. or we're going to win a game. And who cares? What do you, what do you want? I don't want? I don't want the guy to say, we suck or right. we're not very good. I want him to be confident, especially a guy who's played well, and there's reason to be confident. Yes. yes. But we I like it in the macro. I, I like it in the macro. Here's yeah. what I don't like. Yeah. You're getting ready to play Cincinnati, and on Tuesday or Wednesday right. of that week, right. you pop off and say, "We're gonna take that I don't ball think away." The receivers are all that good. Right. No, that's stupid. Like yeah. I that's hate stupid. that kind yeah. of bold proclamation. That crosses over from from confidence to stupidity. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. With that. I, I can yeah. take both. Either one. I can take the humility thing. We're just like we're just gonna keep. We're not thinking about. We're not thinking about who's the best. We're just gonna go out and prove it. Right. And I like the, the confidence. Both can work. I think either sure, one of those can work. Yeah. It's just the one does look stupid if you make those bold proclamations yes. and then you yep. go out and get your ass handed that's to true. you. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. That's yeah. not good at all. Are the pieces there, G. Bush? Yes. Uh, the Browns will be a top three defense this year. Top three? Yeah, top three. Um, yeah. and, and the reason is it, it's just continuity. And I'm not a big fan of continuity, just saying it for the sakes you know, of saying continuity. But just think about it. We've been on the show a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Think about where you were the first week and think about where you are now. Right. Uh, you know people, you're more comfortable, they can throw more things at us, we can put graphics on, we got right. people, sound and audio is getting better every single day. <laughs> you know? I like the analogy. Right? So now, you go out here and you look at the situation with the Cleveland Browns. They brought 
everybody back except for maybe the two defensive tackles. Right. So you you look at what they can well, do. Well, they did lose Hill in the back end of the defense. Right, they traded him. Yes. But all their key players on like defense. It, you're right. All their yeah. key players on defense are all returning players. All. Yeah. Delpit, Without exception. Delpit is in, a, in his second year yeah. after the surgery. He should yeah. be better. I think it was a big breakout year for him. Yeah. You also look at Greedy Williams played well last year. He's back. All your secondary, JOK has some injuries last year, but he's yeah. a rookie. Right. So now guess what, what Joe Woods could do? He can now throw more at you right. instead of you learning Good stuff. Point. You guys are they, these guys are out there putting packages in two, three weeks. Blitz packages, uh, uh, moving uh, Ronnie Harrison down. He even showed up and came back again. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons they're excited about it is when we talk about Judavian Clowney, when they when he showed up at camp, he was supposed to come later. You know how he get down. He sure. like I ain't trying to do that. It is. Yeah. But when Judavian Clowney showed up and was back at camp. I think people was like, oh, we're real. I think we can do something because everybody's locked in right now. Yeah. And there was one one caveat. Bull, you said it. I, the defensive tackle. They could figure out. If you could get it. me in Dominican Sue or, or a guy of that ilk, I think the Browns definitely, we ready to go. Yeah, he just I, got me excited. I'm sorry. One more thing he just got me excited about was we do have a lot of loaded potential hidden talent on this team still that hasn't yeah. realized yet. Sure. Yeah. Pretty Williams yeah. really only has one year under his we belt because of his injury year. All. Haven't seen Delpa much at all. And now we got JOK with one more year of experience. Yep. I mean, that kid's going to be scary. He already had yeah. stuff figured out more than most rookies last year. Yeah. Imagine with a year under his belt. And John Johnson had a, was a disappointment last year. Yeah. I expect him to be a lot better. He was great with the Rams. Yeah. He was average at best last year. Second year in the system, he should be a lot better. I like Walker a lot. I mean, they were dinged yeah. last year on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. It seems like every week they were coming, right. rolling out with two starters that couldn't play. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'd asked this question of me two weeks ago, I would have said no. I think they're a, a, a solid top 10 defense. I don't think they have the potential to lead the way. If you're the NFL's best defense, I know that you're saying it's kind of fluky and it does have so much to do with turnovers. But if you're if the if you're the NFL's top ranked defense, you're giving your chance your team a chance to win no matter who you play every week out. I'm not quite sure we're to that point, but I will say this: with the signing of Clowney, I think they are ready to be a top five defense. And if things break their way, because again, I think so much of it is health yes. and turnovers. Yes. But if things break their way and they stay healthy and they can get the turnovers, which sometimes you all know they're flukes. Mm -hmm. But if Absolutely. you can get the turnovers and stay healthy, I think they can be a top three or who knows, maybe even lead the league in defense because I think they're more what we saw in the back half of the season than they yes. were the first half of the yeah, season. Yeah, and we knew it was going to take time because there were so many new faces last year. This year, no new faces, or at least not in key spots. I mean, think about it. Nine of the 11 starters, and I, in my mind, there's five guys in the secondary and only two linebackers that I'm thinking about as starters, mm -hmm. and that's Walker and JOK. Right. The five guys in the secondary and the two defensive ends, those nine players are all returners. They all have more experience. Now, again, the injuries could sabotage it, but in those nine spots, there's not much weakness. Like, those are nine at least solid yeah. players, and in some cases, spectacular What about players? depth, though? Because so often, especially on the, on, on, on the front line, yes. you're rotating guys in. We've seen this no the doubt. last decade in the NFL. They try to keep guys fresh. You need backup players that can come in and play 15, 20 snaps a game and spell the starters. I'm a little concerned about our, our depth on the front. I think I, I, yes. on the back of the defense, I like it. On the front of the defense, I don't like our depth. Yeah, they I agree. Some they got a little talent up there. It's just the fact that the talent is unproven. Uh, Jordan Elliott, uh, Tommy Togiai. We don't know what they're going to be. You know, what's Winfrey going to be? Uh, what, right. What's Winfrey going to be? Uh, you know, they, they addressed it in Taven, um Brian, he, he's coming in and he's going to play. Uh, but I don't know if he's going to be penciled in as, as the number one three technique off bat. So yeah. they got a couple of people up there. I think Winovich Sheldon outside Day. is some depth right I like, there. Right? Yeah. I, I he's like got some move. potential, especially yes. as like a third pass rusher. Yep. I, I would still like to see, like they did last year, with, was it Malik Jackson they brought it? Was he Malik Jackson. Yeah. I would like to see them make a move like that still. Mm -hmm. Bring in a veteran for a million dollars. He had to, some huge games. Right? Yeah. You need, you, I get that one. They don't have any veteran presence in the middle of that D-line. At this point, anybody you're signing is a million, you know, it's barely above the minimum. Sure. Go, sign, go add a guy like that into the mix with those young players to A, add to your depth, or and B, be there if the young players don't pan and, out. And, Bull, I think this is the exact reason why a lot of people are saying – if Deshaun Watson gets a suspension in the first four, if he gets four games, I don't think no one in Cleveland is blinking. Four games, you look at the way the schedule breaks. Right. They're playing teams like the Jets is starting off. And if you got a defense 
in a running game, all right. you need to all you need to go be presented to make a couple passes. Yeah, no, just don't screw it up. Right. Don't turn it over. Don't screw it up. Yep. And they could come through that even with a backup quarterback. They could come through that three and one. Easy. If things go their way, yeah, they could run even, the first four. And even if you did go two and two, it, you, you could survive that yes, two sure. and two. Now, Absolutely. If the suspension's longer. It's a different story. I right. do you think we should take a moment and recognize something that we do. We don't take a step back and maybe appreciate enough because we've had some good fortune over the last couple of years. Can you think about how terrible like this defense has been since you've even been here? Just oh God, think of some of the players that we've tried to get excited about. Oh. Think about some of the people we had starting at cornerback at certain times, oh. and the fact and we that we talked ourselves into maybe you know, yes. maybe yeah. they're oh, going to yeah. play a lot better than they ever have in, in their exactly. entire career. Exactly. Well, we overpaid them to yes. come here. Yes, and the fact <laughs> that we are now just like I don't, I kind of don't like our depth at linebacker <laughs> yeah, right now. That's a what a nice to place have. to be I in. Mean, Thank God, Jason Tresnick. Oh, don't. Don't. Bi- Brian Bowdy Calhoun. Oh, don't oh, Calhoun us. Down, well, I can't even think of it. Who was that uh, like five, six, seven years ago? They signed that white dude from the Ravens, a defensive lineman. We paid him a boatload oh, of money. Y- your boy. Uh, I can't what, even think of his name. What is? Oh, goodness. He, he, he had left one quite move. the impression And he was all good with the Ravens. He, he had, had all this talent around him. Oh, and Kruger. Paul Kruger. Yeah, Paul Kruger. 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 Oh, that's man. right. I Not, mean, nice guy. It's a great he was point. Done like the Browns for a lot of years, even in the last decade, it was like they had Joe Hayden. Who was that? Th- who was that? Dequell Jackson. Dequell Jackson. And that was about it. Who was the, yeah. th- who was the cornerback that re- played cornerback for us for like eight years and is always backing everybody up? I can't believe I'm spacing on it right now. Uh, it was a nightmare to see him in there. Coming? It's all right. I'll think yeah. of it during the break. It's, it's all By that, I mean, I'll Google it during the break. Got, we've got some guys now. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And, and if we're McFadden. arguing that the unit everybody here agrees isn't the strength of this team, mm-hmm. can be in the top five in the NFL. Yeah. If the offense lives up, you can see why there's huge expectations right. around this football no team doubt. this year. Because I think everybody here would, without even hesitation, say, "Oh, this team is offensive driven." That's where all the, that's where the majority of the stars are. And if if everything goes their way and Watson plays, they're going to score points. No so doubt. if you're talking about a top five, even a top ten ranked defense. This team's going to win double-digit games. But there will be some adjustment for the offense. As good as Deshaun Watson is, he's working with a new coach. He's working with players he's never played with before. Sure. No matter how good you are, except for maybe Tom Brady, there's an adjustment. So, I like with the defense last year, I would expect the Browns' offense to be much better the second half of the year than the first half. Yeah. They're really talented. I'm not saying they're going to be bad in the first half of the year. But they'll be better once the chemistry develops. Like the defense last year. Yes. It's, it's tough to, you know, in the AFC North, man. It's tough. You, when you're playing Joe Burrow um, twice a year, you're playing Lamar Jackson, and, it, and they stress you out in different ways. Like, you know, the Baltimore Ravens, trust and believe, will go back to what they do. They're going to run Lamar Jackson to death. Yeah. They're going to run those running back. J.K. Dobbins is going to be back. They invest up front. Gus, uh, both their running backs. Yeah, both of their backs. Gus Edwards, Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards yeah. is yeah. back. He's a load. And then you look on the other end of the spectrum, the Cincinnati Bengals, I think, stress you more than anybody vertically as far as the passing game. They got three. I think they got the best receiving core in the division. Without Bar none. Yeah. Without and question. Joe Mixon is a top one or two back in the division. So they could do a lot. I mean, the Bengals are going to be great. Not to mention Joe Burrow is, is who he is. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be tough to say that they're going to be a top three, um, you know, defense, especially given the fact that they're going to play Tom Brady. They're going to play Josh Allen, right. and they're going to play uh, Justin Herbert. It's going to be a lot of guys. A lot of game, a lot the of Browns could play great. The Bengals could play great. The Ravens could play great. And one of them could still miss the playoffs. With double-digit wins. Right. The AFC West is loaded. We know how good the Bills are. Depending on Tua, I'm not a big Tua guy, but I think the Dolphins have a really good roster. Their defense is phenomenal. You know, and they got, you know, they added A.J. Brown to go with, uh, uh, what's his name? The, I don't think, uh, I don't think Tua's going to no, make no, it. No, no, A.J. Guys. Brown's on Philly. They I don't added, think Tua's um, going to make Tyree it. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. They added Tyreek Hill. And they got Jalen Waddle. So, and Jalen two, Waddle. Two of the fastest dude in the game. And, yeah, I'm not, Tua, a belie- right? I'm not a believer yeah, in Tua. I, I, but I don't th- I, you can add these Mercedes Benz on, on each side, and I just don't think he's going to be able to get Probably the ball Probably not, to. but like, he hasn't AFC looked like is he's... just so good. Why right? You got a is. few really terrible teams. We know the Jets are terrible. We know the, uh, the uh, Texans are and terrible. And now Russ is in Denver. And Russ is, yeah, the whole I mean, AFC went. Derek Carr's the worst quarterback in the AFC. I don't want to say this. And he's really good. I don't want to say this, yeah. but I just thought, I'm like, man. I mean, Baker Mayfield looked good in Miami, dog. Like, I was just sitting there thinking, like, did they draft a guy? I mean, if you're the Dolphins, you can't give See, up on Tua for Baker. It, I, I, the I, deal I, there I, is the owner is all in on Tua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of that, I don't think they're ready to make a change. No, but I think no. after this year, when he's added pieces, I still don't think Tua is going to be able to make that leap. Yeah. He just, 
his mechanics, everything Terrible. about him yeah, a, reeks good college quarterback, not able to make the transition to the NFL. kind of reminds me of Tim Tebow. Uh, well, wow. his, his the mechanics are not so that bad. Wow. Well, I, his mechanics are not that bad, but, but they're, they're bad. bad. No, they're bad. Okay, yeah, well, he doesn't big, look like an NFL quarterback. Looping delivery. Yeah. Yeah. It takes Terrible. Forever this is going to make you guys football. feel good. Real quick. 2016 defensive starters for the Cleveland oh, Browns. Beautiful. 2016. Okay. Not long ago. Yeah. All right. Desmond Bryant. Jesus. Randy Starks, no Danny over. Shelton. Remember oh, Danny Shelton? He was great Bless jumping on piles. Jumping on, still Kr in the NFL. Paul Kruger, Carlos Dansby, Craig Robertson, Nate Orchard, wow. Traymon Williams, Tashawn Gibson. Guys. Tashawn Gibson was a solid player. Yes. For a year. And Carlos Dansby had been a good player, but he was washed up. We got a lot of that. Problem. We, we got a lot of that. We used to get right. guys yep. like and that we, And we pay him $40 million. million. Well, he was great with, with the Cardinals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you bring him over, you're like, what happened to that guy? He, they come here to over. retire. And he doesn't have any cast of characters yeah. around him. Yep. And the reality is, Thanks I'm a big Deshaun Gibson yeah. guy, <laughs> but he wasn't even that good, Deshaun Gibson. Why would no. you even he went, buy He went elsewhere and did nothing. He looked good because he was playing with a bunch of guys. Right. He made a lot of tackles. 